Good morning. Good morning. Hopefully you can see us. We hope so. Facebook's was, a little uh, crazy this morning. It's a, it, it's a little glitchy today. Yeah. So we'll have to get on there and see if it's going to be pix pixelated and we need to start over. Right. Um, how well, was your workout? Starting out pretty good. Um, workout was good. Let me just start this. and uh, So the workout was good. As you know, I did legs today. Right. And um, had a good workout. But you only did 12 sets of leg presses today. I only did 12. I slacked off. I slacked. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, they were good. Um, as you know, I was, uh, you know, day after fasting, so I was very light today. And uh, but I had a good workout. Did legs, you know, did leg presses, hacks, leg extensions, leg curls, and um, kickbacks. Talk to people about dieting. Talk to people more and more about dieting. That seems to be a common uh, people you know, keep asking you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's good. There's one guy in there who keeps gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. He talks to you every once in a while. But... Yeah. He's in the gym and I'm like, pretty consistently. But how do you have the conversation with somebody th that says, "I fear for you that you are waiting. You're you're about to have an episode, a cardiac episode. You know, and this year, next year, the year after, but then the rate the rate you're going, you're probably pre-diabetic, but not diabetic. I assume he's already on a statin. You know, and he um, does he does ask you questions. He does, so. but you know, I mean. Yeah. Like you say, every time we see him, it's like he gained a little bit more weight, a little bit more weight. Yeah. And I'm guessing his waist right now is well over 50 inches. Oh, yeah, I would say. You know? Yeah. I mean, you know, so. And know. he's young. Yeah. I don't even know if he's 40 yet. He may be in his early 40s. Um, I'd be surprised. But, and I'm concerned, you know, but I don't know how you approach him. I don't know what's the right thing to say. Right. Well, you know, the interesting thing, we watched a, a lecture by uh, Dr. Esselstein last night. Yep. And he said... That in America, teenagers who eat the American standard American diet, what teenagers usually eat, right, and the food they feed them in school, uh huh, graduate right. with two things: a high school diploma and the beginnings of heart disease. Yeah, every one of them. It's ubiquitous. If yeah. you if if a teenager is eating, he he even went so far as to say that ten year olds have are they starting, are starting to, see to develop. Yeah, the, you know the evidence. Now at that point, it's microscopic, but it's there. Right. But it's there. Yeah. And we decided. I told Russ today, I said, I think it needs to be our mission to eradicate heart disease, diabetes, and obesity in anybody who decides that those diseases aren't for them. That they don't want to experience <laughs> those things in life. Yeah. So that, that's becoming our new goal, yeah. that we want to eradicate those three diseases in anyone who decides those diseases aren't for them right. with the knowledge that we have. Right. And so in that vein, um, <laughs> in, the, in the classes that I'm taking for my certification for plant-based nutrition at the Center for Plant-Based Nutrition, um, at Cornell University, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, who is the author of the China study, had eight principles of food and health. And I wanted to share those eight principles with you this morning. So um, I'll just run through them and you can, you know, be my color commentary if you okay. have, have anything you and want. And it goes long. No, just kidding. <laughs> Why is he so strange? I don't know. <laughs> so the first one is that Nutrition represents the combined activities of countless food substances. And so one of the challenges that we have in, in America is they take food and they break it out into these little tiny nutrients. Right. We've talked to you about that before. Right. How they like they add stuff to bread that has nothing to do with bread. Like, right. Well, know, because the first they thing they, they, they took out. everything out. They stripped right. it of all its nutrients and said, oh no, I mean what what is it? Berry berry? What were they getting? Yeah, berry berry. That they were getting back in the Which 30s. is different than dilly dilly. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he, his first point is that nutrition represents the combined activities of countless food, su food um, substances that are found in whole food, right. ones that we know and ones that we don't, and interactions we understand and interactions we don't understand. And his biggest point is you don't have to understand it for it to work for you. Right. You can just eat whole foods. And, and this is, you know, it's a revelation for me because, I mean, coming back from my history as a bodybuilder and a trainer and you know, owning gyms and working on athletes most of my life, um, we always thought that by separating nutrients is how you get the best benefits. Right. Separating, make sure you had extra protein, you know, extra carbohydrates, extra multivitamins and protein powders and, and um, amino acid supplements. And right. God, I mean, the list is just, you know, endless. endless of the different things that we took out of nature, concentrated it and made it basically carcinogenic. Right. Because you know? we could take it up with too much of it. Your body yeah, can't process exactly. it. And that, that speaks directly to his next point. Vitamin supplements are not the panacea of good health. <laughs> he says, hope is not going to save you. Mm. Popular diets promote sickness 
And supplements have become a side business to so many people who are saying they promote good health. And so you really have to look hard at, at people who are health professionals, but then have a side business of supplements. Right. So that, that he is really big on who is funding what and are right. they getting benefit from what they're saying in a way that doesn't make sense. Right. So, and so with that, because I, I thought about that today when we saw that Facebook post, um, is that whenever you hear somebody that is promoting the food industry and they actually, well, I mean, if you're not going to, it's tough to research the science because I'll do it, but I got to tell you, for a layman, reading some of those papers is gives you a headache sometimes. It gives you know? me a headache sometimes. Yeah, you, you know, know what um, I realize? That means they're not well written. Exactly. <laughs> uh, however, the, what I've discovered is that you can, if, you, if you're looking to promote, let's say, the meat industry, and there's a study uh, that, that's studying, um, you know, uh, diabetes or the causes and all that, or, and, and they mentioned the meat, every study will, will have a little tiny segment where you can actually pull out of it and say, see, it says that this is good. Cherry pick it, right, yeah. Right, they cherry pick it, and when you read the whole study and understand what is actually the context of the information, you understand that, no, that's not, that's not what it says at all. I mean, not even close. Right. Um, so it's, you know, it's just, it, it gets confusing, but. All right. So his next point is, there are virtually no nutrients in animal-based foods that are not better provided by plants. Right. We don't need animal-based foods to survive. Nuts and seeds are more healthy, and our bodies can make the cholesterol we need based on the foods. We don't need to consume any cholesterol. Right. And that, that's the nice thing about plants is they don't have cholesterol in them for the most part. So that's that's really nice that you know you can get it all from plants. But we, we tell you guys that all the time. Right. Um, and then so the next point he makes is what about vitamin B and vitamin, uh, vitamin B12 and vitamin D? We've talked to you about that before. Right. Um, you can Your body can make vitamin D from the sun. If you have access to sun, we right. do take a vitamin D supplement right now because living up here in uh, Delaware, there's not any sun. We can't be outside. <laughs> it's too cold. It's too cold. Right. Um, so we do take a supplement in the winter time, and we take a B12 supplement, and that's because your body can make a B12, but the bacteria that's required for us to have to make it is found in soil. And we are we live in such a clean society where we wash all the fruit and vegetables, we eat very clean, we drink very clean water. We don't get that bacteria right. to create vitamin B12. So those are two supplements we do take. And one thing I, I've told you before, I've had I had melanoma in the past, and I was very concerned about being in the sun. That you know the, the I need the vitamin D, but I also don't want melanoma. And they did make the point in this class that if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, and I talked about cancer a, a couple of days ago, your body is actually much stronger at deleting those cancer cells right. that do happen. So that that's good news. I still have anxiety about it, to be really well, honest you know, with you. It with still creates anxiety yeah. for me. So I, I'm going to have to do some more research on that. I really yeah. want to be able to sit in the sun. I like to sit in the sun. Now, it's only 15 minutes a day, and you're right. not don't get sunburned. Like, right. That's, that's really, the key is not to get sunburned. Right, don't get sunburned. Um, he makes his next point says, genes do not discern, determine disease on their own. And I've, I've talked about that some, that – Genes must be activated or expressed, and then nutrition plays a critical role in what your body does with that gene right. once it's, it, it is expressed. So we have more control than we believe we do. A lot of us think that, that we're just fading to whatever yeah. our, our genes say, and more and more of what I'm learning is that's not true. If you feed your body a super healthy diet of plant-based nutrition, you have so much control over it. But it is an easy crutch, right? I mean, you, oh, yeah. you start getting these diseases that your father had or your mother had, and you say, well, you know, it's in my family. There's nothing I can do with it. Incorrect. There's a lot you can do about it. That accepting your fate um, kind of allows you to create it, you know, if that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. You know, um, when, when you've got that in your mind that you're going to do it, you'll start doing things that, that make it happen. Right. You know? Yeah, you know, making, making it a reality. Um, so next point, nutrition can substantially control adverse effects of noxious chemicals. And I actually, you probably can't see it. No, you can't see it. There's a spot in here where I wrote this where I actually wrote wow and highlighted it because I was, it was so impressive. They found in a study that heavy smokers who consume a plant-based diet can substan substantially reduce, not eliminate, oh, really? but reduce their chances of getting lung cancer. So that says that if you eat a whole food plant-based diet, even if you're doing something as dumb as smoking, which right. all of you who smoke, you know that it's not good for you. I'm not right. giving you news. Um, eating whole food plant-based can at least help you a tiny bit right. in that space. Right. 
so that's good. The same nutrients that prevent disease in the early stages before diagnosis may also halt or reverse disease in its later stages after diagnosis. We've talked about that too, that mm -hmm. heart disease is, is reversible. You can go on a whole food plant-based diet, very strict with ridiculous amounts of right, greens, right. but it will reverse but your it heart is, disease. It is fascinating, and, and uh, Esselstein's, Dr. Esselstein's um, talk that we watched last night is you know, the, the almost accidental realization of not only that it reverses and, cu and basically cures these things, but how rapidly it does it, you know? It I changes mean, really I mean, they're fast. showing changes that are phenomenal in like three weeks. And again, he, now his patients, as we've mentioned before, are at the end of a row. They're, they're very, very almost When, when he did his original study, these were people that were basically given anywhere from two months to six months to live because they've already had all the stents they could get. They've had the bypasses. And their doctor said, your body can't take anymore. So prepare. And these people that have stayed with his diet, as he says, out of the 18 people that stayed with his diet, 17 of them are still healthy, alive, and well, like 20, have never had 20 25 issues. years after they were given two to six months to live. But one patient who had a problem was because after, what, like 10 six years, years? Six years. he decided to go to China, was it? Yeah. And, and start eating the Chinese new diet, like the, the, the Western, the Western diet. diet. And he High in up, sodium. And he didn't have a major episode, but he had... Um, did he have angina? Angi angi angina. Angina. Yeah. Angina. angina. Right, yeah. And um, basically... They count that as an episode. They call it as an episode. Survey. And came running back, basically. And since then, he went back on it, and he's fine. Right. Um, but, so really, he's got 100%, 100% success rate. Uh, with people this. who stay with it. They stay with and it. And people who don't now stay he's, with it, not so and, much. And he's hardcore. I mean, even his talk was hardcore. He's a lot very of science, um, a lot of absolutely no oils, absolutely no nuts, absolutely no seeds. I mean, he's really. And we aren't that hardcore. No. We feel like. I, okay, so I feel like if you're that hardcore, it, it's, right, it's, uh, it's better. Like, 100% is better. Right. For me, that's. I can't. I don't know. I just feel well, like I, that's craziness. I'm not even sure. So listen to him, yeah. 100% is better. I don't understand. I don't know if I agree with that. Because if you listen to, to uh, Dr. Campbell and Dr. Mc, uh, Dr. Gregor and Dr. McDougall, um, they're not hardcore. They are nuts, seeds. They're definitely everybody agrees on no oil because basically that's just pure fat and, and there's no Horrible nutrient in pure fat. Yeah. Um, but they are more about it. And ironically, Esselstyn's son is the is the person who wrote the, um, Fire Engine Two. In, in engine Two. Yeah, Forks Over Knives Engine Two cookbook. And um, and so and he and she even said during this talk that her son is not as hardcore as they are. Right. So exactly. So then he points out, and we know this, you guys hear us talk about it all the time, nutrition that is truly beneficial for one chronic disease will support your health across the board. So there's no special, you have to eat this, you have to eat that. If you eat whole food, plant-based, it'll cure or solve, resolve heart disease, diabetes, obesity, lower your cholesterol, lower your uh, blood pressure, like say, all of it. <laughs> basically, the side effects are good. The side effects are you will be yes, healthy. Yes. So, and then finally, he says, good nutrition creates health in all areas that exist at once. All parts are interconnected, and the research gives insight into how these details work. But don't forget the big picture. Just eat plants, and it will make you healthy. You know what I'd love to do? What would you love to I'm do? I'm getting off subject here now, folks. Uh -oh, I'm sorry. we're going on a tangent. <laughs> I would love to be able to get enough people to donate or, or contribute to a television ad that basically was like a pharmaceutical ad. <laughs> for right? big broccoli. For, for, for big broccoli or just for a whole food plant-based diet. And then at the end of it, talk about how good it is and all that stuff. And then at the end of it, do one of those urgent warning, one of those warnings about side effects. Side effects will include good health, um, you know, more energy, um, a cure <laughs> erectile sleep. deficiency, you know, dysfunction. Uh, dysfunction. I mean, just a whole list of the benefits you're going to get from it. And I just would love to know what the reaction of people watching TV and watching these commercials would be like. If they'd actually even catch it. Like if they pay attention. Right, right. And there is enough athletes out there that you could get to do the commercial that are whole food plant-based. I mean, professional athletes. Right, yeah. Football players, basketball players, soccer players from every sport. Right. You know, hockey, baseball, I don't leave any sport out if I am. I apologize. Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, but that would be a fun thing to do. That would be fun. Wouldn't it? But, yeah. So that's our goal. We want to uh, eradicate heart disease, diabetes, and obesity, which will also eradicate high blood pressure and high cholesterol, uh -huh. and anyone who's decided those diseases aren't for them. Yeah. So. I think I now know what I'm going to do when I win the lottery. Yeah, you do. You create that commercial. <laughs> I'm going to create that commercial. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. 
So um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today was the, the five, or, sorry, the eight points, eight principles of food and health from Dr. T. Colin Campbell. So that's what he says about eating plants. Basically, they're good for you. Eat them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you need help figuring out how to add more of them to the, your diet, let us know. We're happy to do that. Yeah. And if you're getting value from these videos that we're doing every morning when we come home from the gym, please do like and share. Mm -hmm. it, it warms my heart when I see you know, hearts and, and thumbs up go across the screen when we're Indeed. doing them. And I do respond to all the comments that we get. Um, when we get off, I do go back through the comments and make right. sure that we responded to all of them. Right. Ask questions. Where um, Robin is happy to answer them. <laughs> yeah, I have been. I've got a few questions over the weekend that I will hopefully get to address right. later this week. Right. So. And, a, and a new um, question today posted to you on Facebook about a documentary or a. Uh, yeah, I so have to we'll look at that. We'll be looking into that as well. Yeah. Or you will be looking into that as well. Right. So, I think we're done. We're I think we're breakfast. done. Okay, so it's time to eat breakfast, which means. We ask that you eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, we'll guys. We'll see you tomorrow.